Hello and welcome to my bridge tutorial on how to make Minecraft add-ons. So this episode is just the basics of how to get bridge set up, get your, get your little work area set up basically for making add-ons. Um, now bridge is a fantastic piece of software that has a lot of it done for you. Some people think it's a bit bloated um, but for noobs it's an absolute must even if it's just for setting up your basic behavior packs and resource packs um, but anyway first things first what you want to do is get yourself onto your preferred search engine I use Google and type in bridge for Minecraft I have got a, a, a full stop here you don't actually need that so bridge for Minecraft and the first link you should come up with hopefully is this github.com bridge core so click on there and then what you want to do is scroll past a lot of this stuff and you're going to see the bridge logo with download the latest version so click on there and then what you need to do is find which one of these applies to you so it could be Linux you could be on Mac I'm running the 64-bit uh, Windows 10 so I use this one here so I'm just going to click that and straight away it's going to download a zip file for us so I'm going to give it a moment for that to finish downloading Okay, so once that is downloaded, I'm going to right click that and show in folder. So this will open my downloads folder. And then what I've done is I've actually set up a specific bridge folder. So in my main storage here, if I open this up, amongst other random stuff, I've got one folder called bridge. And what I basically done was drag this over uh, and I, I extracted it basically it's as easy as that so once you're in your bridge folder you'll then have this bridge bridge.exe so this is the actual application itself and if we double click that this will then open bridge for us now before I dive too much into that what I also recommend you go and grab yourself is some sort of um, image editing software so it could be Photoshop, you could probably get away with using Paint, maybe. Um, I use GIMP, it's it's really good, it's free. Um, you can do lots and lots of stuff on it, but for the basic stuff that we want it, it is spot on. I'd also recommend for later on down the line, because we are going to end up looking into the code itself, I use Notepad normally, but there is Notepad++, which is a little bit cleaner, um, it's, a, it's got a few more functions to it but this again is actually free as well so grab yourself that and then also get yourself a bookmark for bedrock.dev now this so bridge has a lot of built-in functions and stuff that we can use but they're not all built in so if you come over to bedrock.dev I'm going to click here so we're on the latest version and then it could be I don't know you're making an entity so we look at entities and you can see all the different components here that we can use the AI stuff all of the different spawning and filters and whatnot you know basically this is a breakdown of everything that we can add and change so I'm looking at blocks here we've got components definitions we can change if they emit light you know their destroy time collisions all of that stuff that's stuff for much later on but for now Get yourself bridge, get yourself an, an image editor, maybe get yourself notepad, definitely bookmark bedrock.dev. Okay, and then from there, I'm actually going to minimize that. We're going to open bridge back up. So this is what you're going to be greeted with when you first open bridge. So we've got a few little tabs down on the left here, but what we're going to concentrate on right now is the behavior pack and the resource pack okay so if I click behavior pack here you can see that it says no behavior packs detected so I'm going to click create and this now will create a new uh, project for us so in the project name I'm going to call this an example okay in the project namespace so this is basically in Minecraft if you know anything about the data values for blocks and stuff um, for instance, cobblestone would be Minecraft colon cobblestone. Okay, now I'm going to call this cyan. 
Okay, so any items that I add or any blocks are going to be cyan, colon, and then block name. Okay. And then in the description, I'm just going to put example description. Okay, you can put whatever you want in here. Okay, you could be the, the project name could be amazing swords plus plus. Yeah, the description could be my name's Joe. I've added in a load of swords. Okay, whatever you want it to be. Um, the project namespace though, make sure it's all lowercase. Okay, and then down here, so automatically for me, it's automatically default into the stable release, which you can see here, target Minecraft version should be set to what version you are developing for. Currently, 116.100 is the stable release and 116.210 is the beta. Okay, so... If this isn't already here, just click it and just make sure that you're on whatever the stable release is. Okay. And then I'm going to click create. And it looks like it hasn't done anything. But if I click resource pack and then come back, it has actually created now. We've got all of these folders that we can start working in. What you also want to do is click on resource pack. And then here is where you'll create a resource pack to go with the behavior pack. If you've already got a resource pack for whatever reason, then you can click link. But I'd recommend click create and we're going to we're going to create a new resource pack, basically. So I'm going to go example again. If I could spell correctly and then project description again, example pack like so. And we're going to create that pack. And again, this has opened up loads of little folders for us to do stuff in for later on. So that is basically getting our workspace set up okay we've got bridge installed we've got an image tool you know we're going to be i'm going to be using gimp you can use whatever you want but we've got everything in place now that we can start making our own add-ons so that's the end of this setup video um hopefully you go and now check out one of my other tutorial videos on how to make items or blocks or anything like that so yeah, thanks a lot for watching. If you found it helpful and enjoyed it, then hit that like button on the way out. And until the next video, take care, stay cool. Bye-bye.